Hi, this is Carl with Small Biz Thoughts, and this is another SOP video for managed service providers. A little while back, I wrote a blog post that I suppose is long overdue, entitled, What Exactly is Covered by Managed Services? And managed services is one of these things where you have to be super careful that you draw a big black line around what's covered and what's not. You have to have a really clear distinction in order to guarantee that you're going to be profitable. Too many people I talk to say, well, I'm not making any money on managed services and I can't imagine what they're doing to not make money because it seems to me it's one of the easiest ways in the world to make not only good money, but great money. So there are two pieces to the puzzle. First, you got to figure out what's not covered. Okay, so what's not covered is ads, moves, changes. You absolutely cannot have an all you can eat plan. I wish that term had never existed. I know there are some people who say, well, I just use that term, but everybody knows that there's stuff that's not covered. Well, <laughs> I got to say, you're making a huge mistake if you believe that because someday some client is going to think that what you really mean by all you can eat is all you can eat. And so when they take that literally, they are going to put a bunch of labor into your system and say, you have to give me all of this for absolutely no additional charge. Now, if you're making massive amounts of money hand over fist and you've got an extra 10, 20, 30 hours of labor that you can throw in there every month, then you're golden. Absolutely. Don't worry about it. But most of you, that's not the problem you're having. So you have to be super clear. There is no such thing as all you can eat. There have to be lines around what's covered and what's not covered with many services. So all you can eat is a thing of the past. Don't use that term anymore. The second component is what is covered. Okay, so here's the intention of managed services. I have a little phrase that we have used in our company for 20 years and it is very clear. It's very concise. Every client, every technician can memorize this. And the winning phrase is managed services covers the maintenance of the operating system and software. That makes it pretty easy to distinguish between add, move, and change. So for example, if you want to install software, that's not maintenance, that's an add, move, change. Once the software is installed and everything works and it opens up the way it's supposed to, now it's covered by maintenance. So you move something from an add, move, change to maintenance, also, it's the operating system and software. So hardware is not covered. You need a new hard drive? Okay, that's an add move change. That's not covered because it's not part of the maintenance of the operating system and software. So you can come up with any phrase you need to. You need to make sure that you teach your technicians how to draw these distinctions. You make sure that you talk to your clients about the distinctions. You make sure your people in the front office doing the billing and invoicing and bookkeeping. Make sure everybody understands your definition of what's covered. You should never have discussions or arguments or debates about what's covered. It should be very, very clear. And remember, the goal is maintenance. Now, side note, you may have some clients that have a very predictable number of ads, moves and changes. That's cool. So here's what you do. You just say, all right, for these clients, we will add X number of hours of additional ad move change labor, billable labor into their managed service contract. The goal is to flatten their bill as much as possible so they don't see the bill going up and down, up and down, up and down. And for you to have a reliable amount of recurring revenue every single month. So work out the details, have a discussion if you need to, put any questions down below and I'll be happy to answer them. I've covered this in little places here and there all over the place. Obviously it's in my books, but I wanted to make a video that specifically outlined how we define what's billable and what's included in managed services. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palchuk wishing you the best of luck in your managed service business.
Like it if you like it, share it with your friends, and absolutely subscribe to the channel. Yeah.